In the last video, we practiced with left to right addition on three digit numbers. In this video, we're going to try some other combinations and some larger groups of numbers, like four and five digit numbers. So, what can we start with? Well, here's a fun example. What about 762 plus 499? Well, we could start with a typical left to right addition, but since we're comfortable with breaking numbers apart and thinking about them in different ways, couldn't I say that if I took 500 and subtracted 1 from it, that that would equal 499? See, these things are the same thing. This is 499, but written in a different way, right? 500 minus 1 is 499. So, that's what's so cool about math. We could say that this, that this sum right here, Adding these two is the same thing as adding 600, 762 plus 500 minus 1. Why is that useful? Because we'll think about it. Now all I have to do with left to right addition is add 762 plus 500. Take that answer and then subtract 1. All right? I'm adding the 700 and the 500, but that's too big, right? So if I think about 762 plus 500... I'll get what? Well, this is going to be 1,262. The 500 and the 700 are 1,200, and the 62 is left over. So I know it's 1,262 because I'm adding with left to right addition, but this is one too large. I added too much. I only needed to, eat, need, I only needed to add 499. So I should just take one from this, and that'll give me the answer, 1,261. Let's try some more like this to get the hang of it. And this is a technique that can be applied whenever you want. Um, in other words, if I'm adding 631 plus 590, it's up to you. I think it's easier to say, oh, well, 590 is the same thing as 600 minus 10. I think it's easier personally to say, oh, 631 plus 600 to add that. That gives me, well, 6 and 6 is 1,200, right? 30 and 0 is 30, 1 and 0 is 1, and I can even think about that mentally by just adding the two 6s, and that's 1,200, plus the 31 left over. That's 1,231. But the thing is, I, I, I added too much. I only need, need to add 590. So I take 1,231, and I subtract 10 from it, because I added too much. I added 600. And that's 1221. I like this technique because I like adding simple numbers like 600 to 631 and then worrying about the details by going backwards. But again, it's up to you. You can easily solve this problem also by doing 631 plus 590 and then adding 600 and 500 to get 1100, 30 and 90 to get 120, and then 1. This is the same thing. This is 1200. And 21 but again I just I like playing with numbers to make the sum easier we'll try one more now sometimes um, I mean it's up to you again but if you were adding like 821 plus 545 anything that's below 550 it might not make sense to, tr to try and rewrite it as 600 minus something like this is 600 minus 55 because then you have to take something away that's unfriendly but as long as the number you're adding over here with the tens value is above 50 or closer to 600 it might make sense, sense to rewrite it for example let's try another one what about 833 plus 679 well here it's debatable right it might make sense just to add it left to right to add 800 and 600 to get 1400 and then 30 and 70 to get 100 and then 3 and 9 to get 12 and then say oh what's the sum of these things it's 1512 or you might enjoy right rewriting this as 833 plus 700 minus 21 because 700 minus 21 is 679 so now I can add 833 plus 700 to get 1533, but then I have to take away 21, so that might not be such a friendly move. It is still 1512, 
But the point is the option exists. We can break apart these numbers. And sometimes it'll be super helpful to just round up or down and then take away the difference like we're doing here. And when we look at larger combinations, let's look at some four digit combinations here. Let's try 3,000. Um, 450 plus 220. Left to right addition, again, I think it encourages us to think about this in a very logical way. So 3,000 plus nothing is just 3,000, right? 400 plus 200 is 600. 50 and 20 is 70. And there's nothing else to add. We get our answers, 3,670. And then let's try another one. What about 9,877 plus 699? And now what's going to happen as this gets longer, um, this, this technique will give us a longer and longer string of, of numbers down here. And we might need more room, but still it helps us break these numbers apart into a very logical format. So 9,000 plus nothing. Well, we know our answer definitely has to be above 9,000. 800 and 600, that's 1,400, just like 8 and 6 is 14. 70 and 90, just like 9 and 7 is 16, well, this is 10 times larger, it's 160. 9 and 7 is 16. So we add these up. Well, I just have 6 in the first column, and then 7 in the next, and then 5 in the next, and then the last I have just 9,000 plus 1,000 is 10,000. And there's my answer. Alright, so hope this helps.